Hi everyone, welcome to today's writing lesson. Now today we're going to be recapping on the I-spaced sentences that we have practiced before in class. So what I'd like you to do now is pause the video and write I-spaced on a piece of paper and see if you can remember what each of those letters stand for because they each represent a type of sentence. Okay, hopefully you've had a go yourselves. So the I stands for I-N-G, so that's suffix ing, adding that on words to start our sentences. The S stands for similes, so when we compare something to something else, as fast as a cheetah is a common one that we use. Uh, the P stands for preposition. And hopefully you'll remember that word position gives us a clue of what that means. So you're describing the position of something. Is it on top of, next to, beneath the ocean? Um, where is it happening? That's the preposition. A stands for adverbs. So remember a verb is a doing word, jumping, singing, smiling. And the adverb describes how we're doing that. So they often end in L-Y. Um, I was jumping cheerfully. Uh, the C stands for connectives, so we, we know what connectives are, they join sentences together, but this involves starting your sentence with them. So, um, for example, because is a common connective, um, because it was hot, Mrs Thomas sat inside. The E stands for ED, and we did this sentence type um, on another video, if you can remember, the three ED sentence. Um, with I spaced, however, it is just one. So you would just say, scared, uh, Mrs. Thomas ran away from the giant. And then the final one, D, stands for dialogue. Okay, which you will probably know more as speech. So you would start your sentence using your inverted commas. Help, cried the little old lady. Okay, um, so we're going to move on now. I'm going to show you some pages in our topic book and I'm going to talk you through how each of these sentences can be used with that as a stimulus. Hopefully you've managed to find it's here. So trying desperately to raise his head, Gulliver was pulled down. The next one was our simile sentence. I wonder if you can spot it in here. How have I compared how he's feeling with something else? Okay, so the simile again comes at the start of the sentence and I have used as tired as a teacher before half term, Gulliver collapsed on the sand. Okay, onto the preposition. So remember that word position, where is it happening? Okay, the preposition is on or on his chest. Where did he feel the human? On his chest. On his chest, he felt a human creature walk across him. Okay, the next one is the adverb. So remember, um, it describes the verb. Painfully, they used bow and arrows to keep Gulliver down as they tied him up. Okay, the adverb here is painfully. Okay, the next one, the connective sentence. Because he was so exhausted, Gulliver had little energy to fight back. And again, it comes at the beginning and I have used the connective because. Okay, the ED word. Amazed, Gulliver blinked his eyes in disbelief. Okay, so again at the start of the sentence, ends in ED, I've gone for the word amazed. And then finally, it's that dialogue part, so opening with some speech and making sure that we include those inverted commas. So I've said, I'm so hungry, Gulliver said as he pointed to his mouth. Okay, so that's the first example from one of the pictures. I'm going to include another picture now from the book and we're going to do the same again and just give you some more examples before then setting you off on your home learning task. 
Okay, so for this one, I have written an example for each of the letters in I spaced. And what I'd like you to do is pause the video in a moment and see if you can match up each sentence to the one that I have written. So I'll read them to you now so that you know what they say. So the first one says, ready, aim, fire, they shouted. So have a think about which I spaced opener I've used there. The next one says, as strong as Zeus, I led the fleet towards the island. Bravely, I kept going. Behind me were hundreds of ships. When it was over, I was given a title of honour. Gripping the ropes, I moved through the water. Determined, the Lilliput army continued to aim for the enemy fleet. Okay, so I'd like you to pause the video and see if you can match up each of those sentences with the ice-based openers. Okay, hopefully you've had a go yourself. So let's start with the one at the top here. So this one opens with those inverted commas, which means that we have used the dialogue opener. We've started with some speech. Ready, aim, fire. On to the next one. As strong as Zeus, I led the fleet towards the island. So what I've done here is I've compared it to something else, as strong as Zeus. So that would be the simile opener. The next one, bravely I kept going. Bravely is an adverb. So there's the adverb I spaced opener. Behind me were hundreds of ships. This one is the preposition. Where are the ships? They are behind me. It's telling us the position of the ships. When it was over, I was given a title of honour. Now this one is slightly trickier. The word when is a connective. We can use it to join two sentences together. So that one was my connective opener. Gripping the ropes, I moved through the water. This first word ends in ing, so that is my ing opener. And then we have E left, but let's just double check. This one should end in ED. Yes, it does. Determined, the Lilliput army continued to aim for the enemy fleet. Okay, well, good luck with your home learning and make sure you send them in. Me and Miss Pearson love seeing what you've been doing at home. Good luck and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.